Welcome. Here's a puzzle that's starting to gain some popularity. Um, it actually does appear in one of the beginning chapters of this book, so you're welcome to look at this book available on this website. And I will actually write a written essay to post on the website about this. But let me, in this video, just explain to you the puzzle itself. It's kind of fun. I'm going to ask you, what is 4 times 3? And most people say 12, but now in this new type of math, that's wrong. The answer is 18. And this math is called intersection math. Here goes. It works as follows. To create intersection math, you start with four par two parallel lines. And on the first line, I'm going to draw four dots to represent the first term of the product. One, two, three, four. And on the second line, I'll draw three dots to represent the second term in the product. And all I'm going to do is connect each dot on the top line with each and every dot on the bottom line. And this is very hard for me to do on this little setup. My lines aren't particularly straight, but we'll just go with it nonetheless. Whoops, and my pen disappears on me. I don't want to be too messy because I want to be very clear what's happening on this. Whoops, wobble, wobble, wobble. Not very exciting to watch. And finally, doo -doo 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 -doo, that one's hard. There we go, I'm done. So there's a diagram of something representing 4 times 3 in this thing called intersection math. And what am I going to count intersection math? You've guessed it, the intersections 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, whoop, that's not the full one, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 4 times 3 is 18 in intersection math. Now you probably notice one potential problem. Um, I've arranged it so these dots are appropriate space so I don't go through the same intersection more than once with a line. So we're going to go for the maximal number of intersections without having any faux intersections. In fact, here's a potentially faux intersection from a bad drawing on my part. So if you're a careful drawer and the dots are appropriately spaced so that you're never re repeating intersections, then 4 times 3 is now clearly defined as 18 intersection math. Quick question, what's 3 times 4 in intersection math? Well, if you think about it, if I draw a diagram for it, it's going to be the same as this diagram, but upside down, so this must be 18 as well. So in fact, in intersection math, it's pretty easy to see that A times B is still B times A. All right, so the puzzle is simply the following. Could you please tell me, in intersection math, what is the answer to uh, 197 times 243? You have 20 minutes. Please do it. OK, a bit unfair. What I suggest you do in intersection math to get a feel for this, and hopefully get up to this huge problem, is to start by drawing a little, yourself a little multiplication table. Uh, let's see how far we want to go. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 maybe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We did 4 times 3, and we got 18. So I can fill in an 18 for 4 times 3. And 3 times 4 is also 18. Uh, 1 times 1, if you think about it, there's going to be no intersections. So there's a little piece. 2 times 2, if I draw a little picture on the side, 2 and 2, draw in all the possible lines, that creates one intersection. So off I go. I can go ahead and fill in that table. I suggest you do so. And you will, if you stare at that table long enough, see something truly remarkable. And if you can prove what's happening, that remarkable feature, then you're all set to figure out what 197 times 243 is in intersection math. All right, so feel free to either have a look at one of the beginning chapters of this book, or uh, when I get a chance, I'll post a written essay about this for you to have a sneak peek at as well. All right, thank you.